Hello gamers, it's SoftKitty99 and today we're in battle for Azeroth. We're in Zibala, which is putting a foothold for the Alliance into Zuldazar, the enemy stronghold. And we've just come across to the Zibala area with Kelsey Steelspark, who's busy taking a good look at the mole machines, and we have our quest to turn in to Anvil Thane Thugadon. How can I help you? You're a Potchley, the night elf druid that Kelsey's been talking up. We've heard much about you, lass. And he has two quests for us. Mole, mach mole machinations. Seems the enemies anticipated our moves. While we developed our refining techniques for Azerite, the goblins have done the same. It wasn't five minutes after we established ourselves here that the Horde arrived to disrupt our progress. We've got several shamans of great import waiting impatiently in the mole machines on that beach. You can take the key and clear the way so they arrive safely. Free four dark iron earthbreakers from mole machines in Zibala. Rocks of Ragnaros with my shamans still in their conveyances, a vital component of our upcoming ritual remains scattered among the supplies. I can only hope the Horde haven't taken them. They're rare and precious. If you see any glowing objects out there, recover them. They're a tremendous value. Recover nine Firelands slag from the beach in Zibar. Playing with fire will indeed get you burned, Anvil Thane Sigurdon. And you would know since you have hair that is on fire and uh, two weapons that both seem to have uh, lava in them. Isn't that a little bit inconvenient to wield in battle? Will the magma not fall out? I presume since he's a shaman he's got some way to stop the magma falling out of his weapons. Okay, so we have on our beach we have shamans trapped in mole machines and we need to look for these spark slag, file and slag items which should be glowing on the beach. Now we're going to have a lot of bad guys here aren't we? Yes we are, indeed we are. Oh that was interesting, I flew all the way past her, turned around and then got beat up the <coughs> proverbial nether region by some other guy coming at me from behind. So. That didn't quite go the way I planned. I kind of hoped that the guy on the wolf would have uh, just kept going and I would just get the one uh, incinerator girl on her own. But that didn't quite work out, did it? So, uh, and now we seem to have two. Let's use the swipe to get both of them at the same time. And uh, pay a little bit more attention, Kitty, to what you do. See, I, I, I um, always pay a lot more attention to talking to you guys than I do um, in actual fighting. At least that's my excuse. <laughs> right, back to cat form, because is that wolf going to come? Probably going to have to fight that wolf anyway. Oh, hang on, is this what we're looking for? Here you go, fire and slag. So it looks like a little glowing like lantern thing. So let's put that up. We need nine of those then. So that's two. And here's a mole machine. Yep, I think it's safe, guys. Off you go. All right. Uh, yeah, let's fight this guy first. And then we'll get these, um, I think there's three of those slag lantern things over here. Yeah, maybe shouldn't stand right in front of that fire. It might be a good idea to dodge it a bit. What do you think? Yeah, probably smart. Right, so now the three. So this will take us to five. Let's just check in the cart to make sure there isn't another one in the cart. No, there isn't. Okay. Another mole machine. So we seem to be getting one shaman out of each mole machine, so we're going to have to click on all four, I think. There's an incinerator. They're going to make us fight them, I guess. Okay. Well, we managed to get two slag, I think, before we got beaten up by the orc here. And we're definitely going to have to fight this uh, incinerator. 
I think an incinerator just respawned right on top of where we were stood a second ago. If we're lucky, we moved away from them before. Yeah, they don't seem to be following us, so. The question is whether we have to go back in that direction to get some more slag. Right, so. Oh, I've got all the slag we need, right, so. We just need to get to two of the other two mole machines to get our people out. How many are we going to have to fight? There we go, that's four mole machines. And if I dash, we might avoid fighting anymore. Uh, we're still in combat. Are they going to chase us all the way? No, nope, they've gone. Right. Hello, what's going on here? Oh, this is a really fun quest. Speak your piece if, you must. if they didn't want to cook in a mole machine, they should have chosen a different profession. Oh, he's got no sympathy for people being stuck, is he? I, I wasn't worried about him being broken. A little fire never hurt these rocks. Well, they do seem to be kind of on fire and glowing anyway, so yeah, I would imagine a bit of fire wasn't going to be a big problem. A couple of scorch marks here and there, but nothing out of the ordinary. This will do nicely. I'll take that was that, that was on the containment ve uh, vessels, not the actual thing inside. Fragment of the Firelands. The rumours or your capabilities seemed overblown but it appears you're indeed a competent one aren't you i underestimated you apparently for that i apologize don't tell thaling the components for the ritual are now prepared all you need to do is add the fireland slag to the unstable magma and a great beam from the firelands will heed our call you'll gain control of it and you and can eliminate the nearby goblin threat with high in with nigh invincibility Stabilise the unstable magma, then use the magma elemental to defeat 200 bilge water goblins. Now that sounds like a lot, doesn't it? But watch this. This is awesome. This is fantastic. This has got to be one of my absolute favourite quests. Can I? I can't. See, look how big is this guy? How big is this guy? Look at this. How big is he? It's just crazy. Now, watch this. This is so much fun. So, the abilities are Raise Hell, Call Forth Flames from the Firelands, and Wave of Fire, Cast Forth a Wave of Fire. Well, let's... Wave of Fire. You turn into a literal wave, and you can just mow them all down. Look. And then the uh, Raise Hell shoots everybody up in the air and sets them on fire. Look. That is actually... I mean, it's cruel. <laughs> to set up a fire like that but it is so much fun to just mow through them imagine trying to do this one at a time it'd be absolutely ridiculous wouldn't it but just mowing them down like it's so much fun i absolutely adore this quest and it can be a, a daily as well so always look out for this one because I, I just i'd go out my way just to do this one quest because it's so much fun to be honest i've done this quest a few times and i haven't wanted to turn it in when i get to 200 because it's just so much fun running up and down this beach going Wee! Wee! and then Wee! no it's just so much fun if you've had a really bad day at work or whatever this quest is so therapeutic <laughs> That is so cool. Right, I'm going to be good. I'm going to turn it in. But <laughs> I just love that quest. <laughs> well, i got to admit, I'm a bit jealous. I let you take her out for a spin before I could. Those goblins never saw you coming. That were right terrifying. All in a day's work. Yeah, I guess. All right, let's talk to Kelsey. Uh, Hi. You like that mole machine, Kelsey? I like Kelsey. She's so sweet and fun. And bubbly and fun. And everybody would love a friend just like Kelsey. She's bubbly. She's fun. She's a life and soul. She enjoys absolutely everything. She enjoys life. She enjoys everything around her. And everything's a new little adventure. And she finds the best in things. And she just has so much fun. She's absolutely wonderful. Champion, Kelsey Steelspark. You know, Potchley, I've been following your adventure for a while and I just think you're so cool. I was hoping that maybe I could tag along with you, maybe help you out. I I'm not so good in a fight, but nobody can beat my mechanical skills. See, she's so like, yeah, let's go. Yes, Kelsey, I'd love to have you as my friend and join me on my adventures. Let's go. 
Return to Boralus. You know, a lot has happened since you arrived in Zaldazar. I'm sure Mr. Wormbane would appreciate a report. Oh, not from me. Maybe someone a bit more serious. Like you? I bet Daria over there could get you back pretty quick. Return to Halford Wormbane on the Wind Redemption. Daria Smithson can give you a ride. Hang on, is that Darla? No, it's Darla Simpson. Darla Smithson, not Daria. Darla. Anyway, both names are quite nice, and then we'll be able to get a piece of um, Azerite gear in the Seventh Legion colours and design and style and stuff. So, let's find Daria. So Daria is here next to the. Uh, make sure you've got the uh, flight pass before you leave. Um, Dockmaster. No, it is Daria. Daria. Daria Smithson. See those eyes are the, the dots on the eyes are a little bit close to the the stick of the eye, so it actually looks like it's an L rather than an I, but it's an I. Daria Smithson, need help getting back to Boralus? Yeah, could you take me back to Boralus, please? Thank you. I need to go and give my report to Wormbane, and then we'll see what else he wants us to do. So I think the second half of that was a lot shorter and quicker than the first half that's why I, I split it because I thought the first half was a bit too long and the second one might be a bit short but we might cut it there we'll see see what he's got for us when we get back if there's some like twiddling around on the boat to do we'll definitely do that in this episode and if he gives us another big go off and do another big campaign thing then we'll split that and do that in a fresh episode oh look I'm standing in free uh, fresh air the graphics have got so complicated, I think um, sometimes my computer struggles to load it. Right, I actually think I sent... Uh, didn't I send Falstad out of, on a mission? Yes, let's just get that back, shall we? Yeah, Falstad was Falstad, wasn't it? Yeah, Falstad Wildhammer. Successful mission. Right, what did you bring me back? Recruitment orders. Oh, does that mean I get... To, do I get a new person? Or oh, that's all the... Uh, Upgrades for all the camps, isn't it? Because I did that on my main on T. I thought I saw you glance in my direction. War of Shadows. I'm sure Falstad will handle this mission with his usual grace. Yes, he did. We've done that quest. Right, what else would you like me to do, Matthias? Reinforcements. The resources you gather can be used to recruit new troops for the war effort. Return to me periodically to issue new recruitment orders for your missions. If you have available resources, you should use them now to issue your first recruitment order. The war effort rages on even as we speak. We have need of fresh recruits. Speak with Matthias Shaw to issue a recruitment order. Oh, so that's what Falstead's first quest is. It's to open up um, Matthias Shaw. Do you know, I forgot all of this stuff it's from sure. when I played it. I mean, it's Matthias only like a year ago, isn't it, since we played it? when it first came out but it feels like a lot longer ago now so I kind of forgot a lot of the things that happen as you play through the quest and it's been a lot of fun replaying it all um, because you, you kind of a year year up year and a bit more on and and it kind of forgot a lot of it so it's really fun to replay it in some ways you remember some things and in others it is kind of like playing it again for the very first time so recruit alliance troops for recruits remaining looking for reinforcements place the order and i'll arrange for transport for additional troops from stormwind yes please could you do lots of recruiting for me look to the shadows i'll turn that in excellent your new recruits will be available for missions once they have finished their training sleep with one eye open right that's the end of this now Illyria, can we start learning upgrades yet no not yet She's, she'll come a bit later maybe right so let's go talk to Halford and turn in the quest return to Boralus we'll base our operations out of Zibala then and I'll have some reinforcements sent out to assist Brigador Thom thank you for your report Potchley well done thank you too Kelsey was a great deal of help to me right so we'll have that one because that's a big upgrade in that slot the ongoing campaign. We have made excellent progress on Zandalara Pochley, but we must continue to expand our influence. It is time for us to cross the sea once again to exert pressure on enemy lands, lest they fall fully into Horde hands. Which location shall we secure next? Use the Zandalar campaign map to choose a foothold. By the might of the Alliance, our so if we click on this table, defeat. we've now got, we've opened up Zordazar, so now we have Nazmir or Voldoon. 
So let's go to Voldoon and meet the Sethrak. Foothold Voldoon. And you know what? I think we'll do that in the next episode. So hope you've enjoyed today's episode. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. From Softkitty99, goodbye and happy gaming!